Just a week ago, U.S. President Donald Trump made the same promise he did hundreds of times during the campaign. I'm not, and I don't want to be, the president of the world. I'm the president of the United States. And from now on, it's going to be America first. But in the week since, Trump's America first foreign policy has been challenged by problems elsewhere in the world. In Syria, a suspected chemical weapons attack prompted Trump to launch airstrikes against the government of Bashar al-Assad, drawing the U.S. further into a bloody six-year civil war. In Asia, the USS Carl Vinson Strike Group sailed toward North Korea, a powerful message to authoritarian leader Kim Jong-un. And back at the White House, a shakeup with Trump's nationalist chief advisor Steve Bannon removed from his top post on the National Security Council. The moves were praised by a wide range of foreign policy figures, some of whom wonder, is Trump moving toward a more interventionist foreign policy? But it'd be a mistake to see it that way, says Jim Carafano, who worked on the Trump transition team. I don't think it's an interventionist foreign policy per se. What the president's demonstrated is the willingness to intervene when U.S. interests are pushed. Carafano, who spoke via Skype, says that's a contrast from President Barack Obama, who at times was more reluctant to use force around the world, and George W. Bush, who was accused of intervening too much. For their part, Trump administration officials say these Syria strikes do not represent a return to a policy of regime change. P.J. Crowley, a former Obama State Department official who also spoke via Skype, says that's smart. President Trump was elected you know, to fix problems in America. He was not elected to fix problems in Syria. And I think that's why the, the White House is obviously signaling that, that notwithstanding the president's willingness to take military action, he's going to continue to be very skeptical about getting the United States deeply involved in a civil war for which there is no military solution. Press Secretary Sean Spicer said the moves of the past week have been overblown by the media and that reports of a White House shakeup are inaccurate. The only thing that's being shaken up in Washington right now is, or is being shaken up is Washington. Bill Gallo, VOA News, the White House.